Deacon and Finn reassure Sheila of a fresh start, aiming to convince her they've forgiven past mistakes. However, Steffi's disapproval looms, as Finn vows to explain the truth. Meanwhile, Liam supports Steffi, unaware of the impending upheaval Sheila's survival will bring. In another story, Jenna Johnson shares a frightening health scare involving her son, Rome, revealing his recovery from a bout of croup. Spoilers for Monday's episode of Bold and the Beautiful, Deacon and Finn promise Sheila a second chance and forgiveness for their mistakes. Spoilers for Monday, may SAXS episode of The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that Deacon Sharp and John Finn of Finnegan will try to persuade Sheila Carter that things will change moving forward. Sheila is happy with Finn's change of heart because he just gave her another hug and swore that they will never be separated. Sheila might eventually draw attention to the fact that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, won't be happy. Naturally, Finn would counter that he can clarify to Steffi what Sheila has been through and show her that it was Janet Weber, aka Sugar, who attacked her that evening at the cliff home. Sheila made an effort to stop Sugar from killing Steffi, but she was shackled in that abandoned structure and couldn't do much to stop her. Fortunately, Steffi managed to gain the upper hand and eliminate Sugar. The bad news is that Steffi has never had a lower opinion of Sheila because she felt she was at fault. Finn may nevertheless reassure Sheila that he can help Steffi realize the reality of the situation and that Sheila has changed from the person she once knew. It's evident that Finn has forgiven Sheila for her sins and wants her birth mother back in his life, even though he may never fully forget them. Now that they've been fortunate enough to have Sheila back, Deacon and Finn promise to make sure she gets another shot. Regretfully, Finn might be overconfident in his abilities to explain everything to Steffi. After Steffi learns that Sheila is still alive later in the week of May 6th to 10th, our B&B forecasts indicate that she will still choose to keep Sheila at a distance. Liam Spencer will help Steffi deal with her concerns about Finn and whatever's been on his mind in the interim. Liam and Steffi will continue to agree that Sheila should never return, but in not too far off time, they will both be shown to be mistaken. Keep checking back for more on all the ramifications as Sheila's survival is expected to cause quite a stir in Los Angeles, according to teasers from The Bold and The Beautiful. Visit CDL frequently for more bold and the beautiful information. We'll have more exciting spoilers, predictions, news, and updates for you to read. The Brave and the Lovely, a recap on Friday, May 3rd, Finn assures Sheila that they will never be separated. Sheila Carter stated they needed to notify the police because Sugar, aka Janet Weber, might still be after Steffi Forrester, according to the spoilers for Friday, May 3's episode of Bold and the Beautiful. John of Finn of Finnegan and Deacon Shape gave a brief explanation, promising that Sugar would never again harm anyone. Sheila was touched by the news that Deacon had organized a memorial ceremony for her, especially when she learned that Finn had attended. Deacon recounted the story of the sheet flying back during the cremation to expose ten toes and insisted he wanted to give Sheila a dignified send-off. Deacon realized he wasn't crazy after speaking with Lauren Fenmore Baldwin and learning about Sheila's past relationship with Sugar. Sheila also learned about the credit card charge in an odd region of town and Deacon's trail through her texts. Sheila was extremely thankful that her love and son had saved her life because Tom, the homeless man, had led Deacon and Finn in the correct path. Sheila was still perplexed about Sugar's fate, but Finn and Deacon clarified that Steffi killed her when she broke into the cliff house by using a knife. Sheila became aware that Steffi believed she was removing the actual Sheila. Sheila admitted calling Finn his mother since he insisted his mother was still alive. After stating that Sheila was exactly that, Finn acknowledged that losing Sheila had made him realize the true nature of their relationship. Finn pointed out that Sheila attempted to help Steffi rather than attack her, just as she had done when she had rescued Kelly Spencer from the beach. Sheila declared she never wanted to be a part again when Finn emphasized he knew that's who she was trying to be. Finn gave Sheila another embrace and assured her that they wouldn't be. On Friday's BNB episode, while at the cliff home, Steffi griped to Liam Spencer about how Deacon was making her husband seem crazy and that he was making Finn feel anxious. Kelly made bracelets with Liam after spending some time with a friend and was dropped off, and then she read a book in the adjacent room. Steffi was glad to see Liam enjoy this time of connecting with Kelly and thanked him for letting him. As the topic of Finn came up again, Steffi expressed her gratitude that Sheila was no longer with them, saying she wasn't sure how much longer their marriage could have lasted.
While Steffi was busy hugging Sheila at Deacon's house, he stated that Sheila would never again be a part of Finn's life. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that as this plot thickens, Finn and Steffi will unavoidably find it difficult to agree on Sheila, therefore will offer you predictions on all the drama. Make CDL your go-to BNB site for amazing spoilers, predictions, news, and updates about Bold and the Beautiful. The Dancing with the Stars cast Jenna Johnson shares terrifying news, we were quite laughing. Rome's health concern was certainly the ordeal for Jenna Johnson and Val Shmerkovsky, the pair from Dancing with the Stars. What became to the son of Val Shmerkovsky and Jenna Johnson? To find out, continue reading. Johnson first connected with Shmerkovsky after the latter joined the popular reality dance show in 2014. The two, who were both professional ballroom dancers, hit it off right away and started dating the next year. They later tied the knot on April 13, 2019. On July 15, 2022, the couple disclosed that they were expecting their first child together. Rome Valentin Shmerkovsky, their son, was born on January 10, 2023. Our world is forever changed Whiteheart January 10, 2023, they said next to an image of Rome's little hand in black and white. The trio has since celebrated many significant occasions as a family, including Rome's inaugural Dancing with the Stars tour this past winter. Johnson disclosed on Instagram on May 3, 2024, that Rome had a medical issue the previous evening. Continue reading to find out the toddler's fate. What became to the son of Val Shmerkovsky and Jenna Johnson? What became to the son of Val Shmerkovsky and Jenna Johnson? Johnson shared details of Rome's scary and medical issue on her Instagram story on May 3. She posted a photo of herself, Rome, and Shmerkovsky resting in bed with the caption, Rough night last night. Then she posted a picture of Rome in the back of an ambulance with Shmerkovsky on her lap while a paramedic fitted him with an oxygen mask. Rome could be seen smiling at the paramedic in between breaths in the footage that was posted the next day. She captioned the photo, saying, This would be our son, so insanely sick, but flirting with the beautiful paramedic helping him. A few hours later, she reassured them that Rome is doing much better today folded hands light skin tone, and thanked them for their outpouring of love. She went on, he had a severe case of croup. Had considerable difficulty breathing in the middle of the night during a coughing fit. We were all rather terrified and hysterical. Thankfully, I'm feeling much better today after visiting the physicians. Rome had a medical problem just one day after Johnson posted a cute video of him clapping his hands and dancing to the guitar music of Shmerkovsky. She posted a video of Shmerkovsky encouraging his son to sing it with the message, Papa's home son. Rome's first birthday was celebrated by the couple earlier this year, right before they went on tour with him. Johnson wrote, Happy first birthday to the sweetest soul I've ever known, as the caption for a set of pictures that included Rome donning a one birthday crown with a bear-shaped O. Rome smashed a birthday cake all over his face while posing with his parents in a few additional pictures. I'm feeling conflicted on this lovely celebration day. One whole year of getting to know, loving, and teaching you. However, how have the 365 wonderful days that I will never have back from you as my tiny, giant, baby have passed? Time is the best gift of all, and I will treasure every moment I have with you, my sweetie, Johnson wrote. Rome is unwell now for the second time this year. Johnson disclosed that Rome had a stomach pain and 102.6 fever in March 2024. Today I visited the pediatrician. Slept a much. However, when her father returned from his business trip, he appeared to brighten everyone's day greatly, the professional dancer stated on her tale. Nothing, in my opinion, breaks your heart more than witnessing your child unhappy and depressed and without having adequate communication skills. Please subscribe our channel.